Yes. Hey guys, Paul Roberts at www.backyardbblog.blogspot.com. Got to show you my newest project. This is a 150-gallon old diesel tank. What I've done is I cut a door in it, put a latch on it, on the side, I put vent holes here, 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 and here. I then ran an axle through the thing, show in there, there's an axle that runs through it, and inside you see here is compost, okay? This is my automatic composter. Well, it's quite heavy. <clears throat> I built a stand for it. This is from, from some excess drilling pipe and some uh, three-inch angle iron. And the motor, let me show you the motor. Come around here, Kayla. This is a uh, one-third horse Sumitomo uh, electric engine, electric motor. This has um, a third horse, and it has an 85 to 1 ratio. So whenever this is on, this sprocket will turn at 20 revolutions per minute. And I've got this geared down. This is a sprocket off of an old bicycle. I have it on the small sprocket here and the larger sprocket here, which is a 4 to 1 ratio. So overall, this thing turns around 6 RPMs. Um, I've got this set on a timer so that seven times a day the motor will come on and spin the uh, the composter for one minute. Um, the purpose of the spinning is to introduce air to the compost and which will make the compost um, faster. And I've read that you can have good compost within a month doing in doing a project like this. Um, let me show you how I hit the manual override inside just to show you how the compost works, but this is quite heavy. All this has lots of water in it. And in fact, if you try to turn this by hand, it's very hard to do. But this uh, industrial motor is pretty strong to, to rotate this drum. And it works pretty good. That's all I've got to show.